In the previous video, we learned how to handle a GET request. In this video, let's learn how to handle a POST request. We're going to begin our work in Thunder Client. We're going to leave the GET request from the previous video untouched and create a new request instead. We select HTTP verb as POST and copy paste the URL. Next, we need to specify a new comment object that needs to be added to the comments array. For that, in the body tab under JSON, we specify an object. Text set to new common. We don't specify the ID as it will be generated in the handler. If I now click send, we get back an error, status 405, method not allowed. Let's go back to our API route and add a function to handle this POST request. In the same plus server.js file in slash API slash comments folder, I'm going to define and export a new function. The function is an async function called POST. It's important we match the function name with the HTTP verb we want to handle. Now every API route function receives a request event as argument. We are going to destructure the original request object. From this request object, we are going to extract the JSON body specified as part of the request. For that, we call request.json. We add the await keyword, which returns the object specified in Thunder Client. This object right here. From this object, let's destructure and access the text property. So const text is equal to await request.json. Now we can create a new comment object. ID, we set it to comments array dot length plus one. And text is going to be the text from the request body. We then push the new comment into the comments array. Finally, we return a response object. As a first argument, we specify new comment in JSON format. And the second argument, we set status code to 201, indicating a resource has been created. You can, of course, do the same with the JSON helper function. And this will work as well. If we now go back to Thunder Client and hit the send button, we see status 201 created and the new comment as response. The comment ID is now 4. If I switch tabs to make a GET request, we now see all four comments being returned. This is pretty much how we handle POST requests in API routes. Define a POST handler in the API route, make use of the request event argument to access the request body and send an appropriate response. All right, if you have understood so far, join me in the next video where we will learn about dynamic API routes. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.